right, so before I begin today's video, the first thing I want to say is happy birthday oh, to you. Kelly. Her birthday's on the 30th, so please everyone leave a little birthday message for her down below. She's going to be 21 this yes. year. <laughs> So New Year's Eve is almost here and it's that time of year where we're going to be talking about trends to ditch in the year 2023. These are one of my favorite kind of videos to do. Of course, whenever we come out with controversial uh, videos like this, we like to, you know, kind of see what you ladies are thinking. Sometimes you surprise us and the ones that we're a little bit afraid of getting some feedback on, you guys are right on board with us and then other ones we come right out of nowhere and you guys are definitely hanging on to some of these trends and not wanting to let them go. So please share down below all of your thoughts and ideas on all of these trends that are to ditch in 2023. Yes, and please keep in mind, we are not the fashion police. We're just giving you some information that we collected. Some of them, you know, we definitely agree with. Some of them were like, oh, I don't know. Um, and also when we say ditch, really that means like put it in the back of your closet because mm -hmm. let's be honest, fashion cycles. So if you're ditching it now, two years, three years from now, it's going to be right back in the trends list. So anyway, if you are new to our channel, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. We make videos all about fashion sprinkled in with some beauty and lifestyle things. So if you are all about that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We make videos every Sunday and Thursday, and we would love to have you back for more. If you are jean lovers like Kelly and I are, then you're going to want to pay attention to this first trend that is being ditched in 2023 and that is styling crop jeans with boots where you see that little sliver of skin. So of course that is a trend that Kelly and I really loved. We embraced for such a long period of time. We talked about the cutout in the boots. All of these things were, you know, styles that we were telling you over and over and unfortunately they are out and now instead in its place is having the jean cover over the boots. So that way there is no sliver of skin showing. At first we were a little bit hesitant wasn't sure if we were really liking it but whether we like it or not that trend is out and this new trend is in yeah I, it's kind of funny because we loved this and we definitely preached this to you ladies time and time again about showing that little sliver of skin the little cut out ankle on the side and it was adorable and it's still honestly it looks cute it's mm -hmm. not like it doesn't however it's definitely starting to look a bit dated so if you want to look really modern and on trend definitely go with something like a slim straight jean that covers over the top of your boot or at least just touches the top of the boot so that you're not showing the skin. Those of you in those colder climates, I think you're going to really appreciate this trend because you definitely expressed to us how showing skin when you're in that freezing weather is really not a good idea. So you're going to like this one. And actually, I'm loving it too. I, I really feel like it's a cute one. Okay, so this next one might be the most controversial one on the list. We were a little bit scared to put this one, but that's we're going to put it. That's why it's number two. We're going to put it, yes. And that is skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, oh, I feel like you could watch a dozen YouTube videos and you're going to get a dozen different opinions on this. So the thing is that skinny jeans, although they are kind of classic and we're definitely keeping a pair in our closets for sure, they're really not on trend right now. So I wouldn't really say ditch them. I would say tuck them away for later, but really if you want to look more modern and fresh, go for a slim straight jean. I'm telling you ladies, this slim straight style or cigarette style jean, it's going to give you that same look of nice slim leg line. However, it's not so tight around that ankle. It doesn't fit like that legging kind of look around the ankle. A slim straight is very flattering and it's just much more fresh and on trend. And skinny jeans, they are starting to look a bit dated. They're definitely not what looks like it's in style for 2023. So don't get rid of them. Just maybe put them to the side and, and try some of these other more relaxed styles. Right. And if you're someone who's like, Hell no, I swore I think that's the first time on our channel. I'm not getting rid of my skinny jeans. Then the recommendation I think that I would have is to style them or pair them with shoes that are current. So mm -hmm. maybe a nice retro sneaker that we've you know kind of shared with you. There's a beautiful like beige one. You could also style them with some of these beautiful like lug sole loafers um, or even some of these clogs. So more of these trendy kind of shoes with this classic style jean I think would go for a better look versus styling it with something like a ballet shoe. So a ballet shoe, 
yes, it's coming back into, you know, being a, a more popular shoe, but it's just starting. So when you take something that's a little bit more traditional with another one that's a little bit more outdated and traditional, it just doesn't give that same like fresh and current look. So just leave those ballet shoes instead with maybe some uh, straight leg jeans and instead, you know, more of these current trendier shoes if you are going to style your skinny jeans. Yeah, and definitely with a boot that is, you know, up to the knee, skinny jeans are still mm -hmm. going to probably be your best friend because it's very hard to tuck in the relaxed denim to the boot. So that's another time that you might really use them. All right, the next trend that we're saying to ditch in 2023. And honestly, I'm really happy to see it go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Maybe we were scouring the internet trying to find this trend because we really don't like it, but that is these pattern leggings. So that's everything from the geometrical shapes to these like neon colors. You might see some swirls or some cats on them. So Kelly and I, we're not really big fans of leggings. Nope. Uh, so nope. we're okay with them going. I don't really care whether they have pattern shapes on them or whether they're a solid color. I personally don't like leggings, so I'm saying just ditch leggings all together, but the trend is just specifically the ones that have all of these shapes and patterns on them. Yeah, I feel like there is some controversy there because we are not leggings girls, but I know that they're popular. I know that some women love them. A lot of fashion influencers do love them, especially those um, like faux leather leggings and stuff, and they can work for some people. They can make some really cute outfits with them, even though they're not our thing, but the ones that really look dated are just these patterned leggings. I mean, I don't know that they ever didn't look dated, but they definitely had a big moment. People love them. They were buying them in every different pattern, polka dot stripes, cats, dogs, you name it. Please no, please no. These are not attractive. They are definitely out of style and they will definitely look dated. And I don't think there's any controversy in saying that. <laughs> Okay, again, one that Christina and I have definitely both been guilty of, and it had a moment, I think it was mm -hmm. nice, but these are definitely on their way out, and that is the high-low hem in dresses and skirts. So this is where the front of the dress typically is a little bit shorter, maybe like around knee length, and then it gets longer in the back. So this is just something that we're really not seeing much of anymore. There are still some available in stores, but when you see them, it definitely gives a bit of a dated look to it. What we're seeing now is definitely more a one hem, whether that's mini, midi, or maxi, doesn't really matter. They're all super on trend, but just one, one length to address, not this like high and low. It's, it's just not really happening anymore. I think this is an easy trend to ditch, honestly, because I feel like there's so many beautiful options out there with all of these different dress and skirt lengths so I mean I don't really have any sort of strong feelings against like a high low hem however I think there's just some really like beautiful and new and current you know um, lengths that are coming out with new patterns and new colors that are going to be popular for 2023 so I'm okay with it leaving and being a trend that you know I just don't wear anymore okay so you guys know how we feel about leggings so it's just fitting that I'm also now going to talk to you about the next trend, which has to do with tights. So I'm not really one who really wears a lot of tights. I think maybe more so when I lived in New York and Boston and I maybe had some sort of dress that I needed tights with. But a trend that was really, really popular were these logo tights. Specifically, I'm thinking of the ones that had like Fendi slapped all over them. So that is definitely a trend that's on the out. I can say I'm okay with that being out because I didn't really wear it anyways. And instead now of wearing these logo tights, go for something in the shade of black. So whether that's a solid black tight um, that maybe you're styling with like a winter boot or something like that, or whether you're wearing more of like an opaque black tight. Yeah, I mean, it's a little unfair for us to judge tights because we do live in South Florida and let's be honest, we don't really have any use for tights in our wardrobe. However, if you are someone who, you know, lives in colder climates, is reaching for tights, I feel like sticking with those solid blacks and those sheer blacks are really going to be your best option. The nude ones, they definitely look very dated. I feel like white is just not very flattering. I mean, why would you want to make your legs look snowy white? I'm not sure. Um, and I just, I know that definitely we've heard some things about like fishnet. Those are like kind of trendy. I personally don't love that look. I think that that is something that's very hard to wear, but you know, to each their own. But definitely these logo tights that were really big, now they're moving on. They're not in trend anymore. 
Another one that I really thought was adorable for a moment, but now it definitely looks dated when I'm looking through those Pinterest photos, and that is the big wool or felt winter hat. So we would see these all over Pinterest and Instagram for fall and winter, the big, beautiful hats. And I mean, it makes sense, right? You're trying to keep your head warm. Didn't really make sense for me living in Florida, but it makes sense for people who live in colder climates, and they were really cute, and of course they were wearing them with their skinny jeans and their big blanket scarves and now it's just looking a bit dated. So what we're seeing more of is if you are choosing a winter hat, of course there's always that classic beanie option. We're also seeing some like smaller like fedora style hats as well as some little like berets. If you live here you don't really need a winter hat to be perfectly honest but yeah those big floppy ones, they're definitely getting pushed aside now. They're looking a little bit dated. Yeah, and we're not saying that they're not cute because they, they really are, mm -hmm. but when a trend burns really hot, yes. it also has a tendency to fizzle out pretty quickly. Um, so even though this is a trend that we've seen, I would say within the past like couple of years, there's a reason why when everybody and their mother is on Instagram or other social media and they're wearing it, it becomes super popular. Everybody starts to have it and then of course it fades out. And so that's what we're seeing. You know, we're definitely looking through and trying to see, okay, well, we know how we feel. Are we seeing it being reflected with other influencers, other people who are on social media? We're just not really seeing the hat anymore so unfortunately that trend is out okay so this is a trend that Kelly and I used to love oh my gosh <laughs> obsessed <laughs> used to love we even created a couple of probably I think two or three videos on it yes. we just love this trend and that was animal print so the traditional animal print those browns and blacks and whites those that animal print is very dated and it's not that we don't love our animal print. I think I have mm, maybe not as such like lovey-dovey feelings towards animal print like I used to. I mean, I was wearing snake print. I mean, I was wearing every kind of print that I could possibly find, any kind of animal print. And now I find that I really don't reach for them anymore. And I don't have any interest. I have a beautiful bag. I just really don't want to wear it anymore. I still have some beautiful shoes that have animal print. Those are also pushed aside. Maybe they'll come back in, but when I see pictures now of someone wearing animal print, I really feel like it immediately looks extremely dated. However, I do wanna preface, one of the things that we are seeing are more of these muted kind of inspired animal prints. And I'll try to share some pictures with you of some of the animal prints that we are seeing that you can still incorporate into your wardrobe, but they're not screaming that traditional animal print that we used to see in the past. Yeah, this one, the jury's definitely still out on this one because again, you can watch different people and you can hear different opinions, but what it seems like is the very big, bold, you know, animal print in your face, head to toe, you know, big pieces, full dresses, is looking a little bit dated and people are definitely that, you know, those people who choose to wear some animal print they're going for things that are a little bit more subtle maybe a little bit of like zebra where it's just one color with some cream or white or even like a leopard that maybe just has some brown and a little bit of black but it doesn't have all this you know stuff going on it's not big in your face and bold it's not head to toe so if you do have something that you really love whether it's a handbag or a belt or a shoe we're not saying that that is out. If you style it with some neutrals, definitely it's still you know something that people are wearing, but it's just a lot more subtle. We're just not seeing so much of it and so loud and proud animal print. So yeah, it's definitely something I'm not really reaching for much, but you know it's it's also not completely out. So if you love it, you can still wear it. Okay, so this next one may be one that some of you don't agree with, but this is definitely something that we stumbled upon when we were researching, and I, I kind of can see it. So that is the t-shirt dress. So the t-shirt dress is basically a little bit of a shapeless style dress. It's as if you took like an oversized larger t-shirt and just put it on and wore it as a dress can be very comfortable, can be really casual, but I think the reason that this is going kind of out of style is that it doesn't really do a lot for the body, and typically what we saw when we were seeing it on Instagram and Pinterest looking super cute, we always would see the models with a flannel tied around their waist or a jacket tied around their waist, and it's like, 
There's a reason they're all doing that and it's because the dress on its own just really isn't that flattering on the body. So now we're definitely seeing more dresses that have some details that help to create a little bit more shape. So even if it is a t-shirt style dress, but that actually already has that fabric that ties in the front, it helps to create more shape to the body. So that's gonna be a lot more flattering and a lot more on trend. I'm not sad about this trend really being ditched in 2023 and the reason why is because to me it gives me hope that maybe some more of these fitted type of dresses will be popular in 2023 which will really help to kind of balance your proportions really play off of your curves and not leave your body kind of in this like one blob type of of look i'm actually thinking specifically of like one of the thumbnails that we had created which was like a frumpy kind of video and i remember pulling a, a t-shirt dress for that because it just did nothing for this model that was basically five foot eleven and weighed like nothing pounds you know so if you are someone who is never really quite sure whether your metal on your shoe or on your bag should match the metal, you know, jewelry that you're wearing, you try to have everything matching all silver or all gold, that trend is out. One metal, that metal trend is definitely out. And now we're seeing so much mixing of metal, which I personally really appreciate. So I have a platinum colored, uh, a wedding ring so when i'm able to also wear gold and other jewelry that mixes the metal together so that way i'm not having to think about what kind of metal is on my bag what kind of metal is maybe on my belt or on my shoe or whatever it is i love this trend personally i think that it's so much better than just trying to stick with one metal absolutely and i feel like another thing is a lot of people kind of put themselves into a box right and they think well i can only wear silver or white gold i can only wear yellow gold and they talk about you know it has to do with their skin color and all of that i definitely was one of those people for a long time i only wore white gold i did not think i could wear yellow gold at all and let me tell you that is out that thinking is out you can absolutely wear the different types of metal. They will work for you. They look really good when they're mixed together. Wear what you love, you know, embrace what you love. I mean, that really is you know applies to all of this if there's something that you love that we said is out you you still wear it you don't have to listen to that <laughs> wear what you love but when it comes to mixed metals they're super on trend so mix it up if you have a silver watch and you want to throw on some gold bangles and some silver earrings and it is all about mixing up those metals and especially those pieces that do the mixing for you mm -hmm. that's some of my favorites so this is going to be really a trend and avoiding just thinking that you can only wear one metal at a time that's out all right, so we have now shared all of the trends that you should be ditching in 2023. If you missed our other video on all the hot and popular trends for 2023, we will link that down below for you. You're going to be in the know, know everything that's going to be popular and trending for the new year.